So if you guys been having trouble with like trying to grind, trying to get your levels up in this new double contract update or chainsaw man update, I got you bro. So this is my prototype double contract AFK macro. Of course, as it says, it is a prototype. It's not like fully done. I will see if I can find better ways, but for now, this does work. I got into level three overnight. So that, that is re honestly really good. I'm almost at max. And remember, the more double contracts and the higher they are, the more double bullets you get. So easier time for you to grind. But let's go ahead and get into the requirements. So requirements, of course, have decent wi-fi the reason why you want to have decent wi-fi is for the loading if you load in slower or if you load in faster it'll like change up the consistency of how fast your macro is gonna go or if it's gonna mess up in the long run so make sure your wi-fi is decent if not you could still try it but you might have a higher chance of risking it all and uh not really working that well of course bring a high grid or ground attacking air units hoshiro he's a hybrid where there's a hybrid as death is a ground hitting air unit as is aizen and uh, anything that resides in that category you should bring it as well and have good traits of them so so you can get into the higher ranks because as you can see down here this does work with all contract it just depends on the difficulty in your unit trait uh but besides that bring support and stun and buff units like as death she's a really good stun uh sakura good buff because she does do base damage and overall damage it doesn't matter on the type they do whether physical or magic it's just straight damage and then we also have brooke which she's an overall good like buffer even though it's not like a manual thing or a permanent thing every time he attacks he buffs and he does quite a bit of damage as well so why not bring him out if you do have him and then money units I brought Bulma and Speedwagon for maximum money because I can. I really do have. Well, I'll show you guys my loadout once I get inside the game. You guys can see why I brought them both. I don't really need any other units to take care of the enemies in the game. But some side notes you will not win all the time. Just like most of my macros, you will not win all the time. So uh, just in case, keep that in mind. I will try to find a, a way to win all the time. Probably through like being on the roof or something. And there are two different versions, which I'll show you guys in the end the other version. But I'll also show you guys the version that I do like using the most. So without further ado, let's get inside the macro all right we start off just like this we have the macro right here and what you guys want to do download tiny tasks as well if you already haven't go search up a video on how to do that but turn this on continuous playback put it put your mouse somewhere and then record boom then go ahead and join click that a couple times and then go back to the middle and wait for it to load in and this is where good loading times are very useful because if you don't have a good loading time this will vary the macro by a ton so keep that in mind now once you load it in click on the top all the way to the bottom just so you could click or claim your daily reward because this is an all-in-one macro uh, i love to do those all-in-one macros because they're the greatest and they're very useful just like that and then you can go to quest or event complete 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 and then daily complete 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 infinite complete 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 story complete complete if you want to do if you don't want to do that that's fine but that's what i like to do but then go to click summon so you can get basically aligned with the middle then once you do that go walk backwards run backwards and then go to the right and you should meet the double contracts so talk to her makami continue contracts click and then the, i'm ranked two right now so i can do the 80 gem contracts i'm gonna go ahead and buy again Exit out, items, go to portals, and then go to my legendary one. Use, open with friends only. If you want to do it alone, I, I highly recommend that because doing it with other people is probably going to mess it up. But go ahead and start, click it a bunch of times, and wait until you get inside the game. All right, so this is the preferred view I like to use because, of course, you have less obstacles in the way. And the position that I like to go in is very easy to get into. So first of all, run into this wall right here. Boom. Move to the left or to the right, just clicking it a couple times. There we go. You won't go over. You won't go do nothing. And then go to the left, hit this wall. Once you do that, Go ahead and go down, hit this wall, go to the left again, position yourself, and then run to the right. And then once you're here, position yourself so you can hit this wall. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Now, this is a great spot because you could put your Aizens and your S deaths right here. You could put your Toshiros in the front doing damage. You could put your money units in the back, and you're good to go. So let me go ahead and show you guys the layout of the entire thing. And as you guys could tell, the higher contract you get, the more money you get. I do believe it scales into the later contracts, but from what I've noticed, from the tier one contract into the tier tier two contract i've gotten way more money unless i'm tripping which then I'm, i might be on some drugs but yeah i'm gonna I'm skip forward once i could get my entire loadout down but don't worry about the units place your money units down until like wave four or five you can start placing down attacking units because of course they won't get here in time
Alright, so this is the loadout for the view that I like to use. Of course, I got the SDS on the left. I got an Aizen over there. Just in case it does need for, it does call for a magic attack since all my units are more physical. So if you have a variety of magic physical, that'll be great because they do switch around a couple times. But I have a couple Sakuras to buff them. I got my Toshios on the right and my money units in the back. And this, this always worked for me at least. So if it doesn't work for you, maybe you did something wrong or maybe I did something special. I don't know, but this is the loadout. And I'm gonna skip two when I finish this boss. And just like that, the tomato is dead. Boom, there we go. Contract the tomato devil has been defeated. And then once you're done with the macro, click next a couple times. Nine bullets right there, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And now once you're done with that, get your bullets, click here a couple times, just like I said, and then exit out and end the macro. You should be good to go. And now let's move on to the second point of view. Okay, so this is one of the views, the second point of view. I don't really like using this one because uh, there's too many obstacles in the way. But basically what you could do is jump down from here. And then once you do it down, go ahead and go into this fence go ahead and go forward so you can hit this wall and then once you're aligned with that run this way and then boom 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 there we go this is a pretty good spot because there's not a lot of obstacles going in your way except for this little pathing right here that's really the main obstacle but this is a great spot because you're in the middle you have a nice spot right here for your s death your big giant circle aoe's like aizen and s death like i said you could put toshiro's in the back over here hitting air units and then you could put your bomas and whatnot all the way on this side right here so let me go ahead and start let me show you guys the loadout and you can move backwards just like i did so you can have more space on the bottom but this is the ideal place so go ahead and place down your money units so i'm gonna place it down right here i said i was gonna place the money units over here but nope i'm just gonna place down the money units over here because it, it just feels more open to me there we go another one down and as you can see i do get more money every time i get higher double contracts that's really good place this right here and then upgrade my money unit boom 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 and then since they take a long time to get over here i'm gonna go ahead and keep upgrading boom 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 just like that now i'll fast forward the rest all right so this is my placements right here i got the ice in the back hitting everything in this turnaround or roundabout you could say we got the as deaths time stopping with the, we got the toshi rose hitting the airs is this boss a santa is this boss a, a christmas one hey that's pretty sick 